The house is far from a rubber stamp house. And for those of us that have followed the 10th Assembly, you know that we've pushed back on a lot of issues um, that the executives, you know, that have even brought before the house. We've consistently ensured that we hold the executive to account. So it's unfair to be able to say that the house is a rubber stamp or to give the impression that uh, we're doing anything for high, high service or anything. Now, it's interesting you to know that the university that was being, uh, that was spoken about, what a lot of journalists will have done better is to have done some research and realize that this was not asking for any new university. Because the narrative out there is that, oh, there are already so many universities already. Why are we having or asking for another one? But the National Institute for Nigerian Languages, Ninlan in Aba, exists already. You can fact check me. So it exists already. So if they are requesting for the status to be upgraded to a university, it's different from the wrong narratives out there that you are trying to create more institutions. I don't know if you understand what I mean. So this is information for you that Nilan actually exists already as an institute in ABBA, right? And what they were just doing is trying to ensure that it gets the status um, of a university. So that's about it. Now, the other argument about whether you need uh, a university or an institution for languages is left to you to be able to um, analyze. Because if you don't understand that, you know, the language of a people, you know, is very, very important and central, right, to the identity of a people. If you don't understand that it has a nexus between education and human capital development. In fact, many people have even advocated largely that you even have um, native language um, instructions in many, um, um, you know, many, even secondary schools, even in all our institutions to allow uh, people to learn in their native languages. So I don't see why it's, a, it's such a big issue to push back against uh, a specialized institute uh, for Nigerian languages. But again, like I said, it's not a proliferation. It's an institution that exists already that was just um, seeking to um, be upgraded to university, to, to status of a university. Yeah, that this bill, um, you know, comes before them, you know, for them to show their support. Uh, but much more so from even members of the public, a lot of people have also indicated that this is something, is a, a step in the right direction. This is our seventh, we've had our seventh um, electoral cycle since the Fourth Republic, uh, commencement of the Fourth Republic in 1999. And as we approach the eighth cycle, it's important for us to start to look at in what ways we can improve the electoral process, in what ways we can look at our democracy and seek ways to deepen inclusion uh, for people as much as possible. Uh, it's important that we also let you know that we have materials which we've prepared, we'll share with you. Um, we've also created a website um, which, uh, I'll just tell you what the website is, independent.ng. Uh, www.independentcandidacybill.ng. That's www.independentcandidacybill.ng, where you can find a lot of information, especially information on what the bill is not, because there's a lot of misconceptions around it, and what, you know, the technical details of it, please, you can be able to find um, a lot of information on that, on that website. You want to add something to it? No, just to say that the website will be ready from tomorrow, and just to echo what Honorable said, mm -hmm. um, that, you know, <clears throat> the media as the conscience of society, you know, um, will be quite instrumental in helping the public interpret the provisions of the bill to ensure that people do not misconstrue the provision. And as I mentioned, it's such a pivotal piece of legislation that will further um, enhance, you know, and advance our democracy. So we're counting, you know, on the media, as we said, as a soul of society, to help us, you know, publicize this, ensure that, you know, the citizens understand the bill and the citizens also see it as the citizen's bill at this very crucial stage, you know, in Nigeria's democracy. Thank you. All right, thank you. I'll just take any questions on independent candidacy bill. And this matter was deliberated upon, um, especially issues of, you know, rising fuel prices uh, and all of that. And um, legislative action is being taken on that to be able to um, ensure we have um, 
you know, outcomes, you know, that is in the best interest of Nigerians. As you know, um, the government has had to take very difficult but necessary decisions uh, for the long-term economic stability of the country, um, you know, and part of it is the regulation of, of um, you know, that space to ensure that, you know, um, the Dangote refinery can also be able to, um, you know, sell to, you know, um, anybody that's able to buy, you know, distributors as it were. So it's, it's all, you know, I, in, in my own belief very strongly, I don't speak for the House Committee on, you know, petroleum, but from, from the House's point of view, um, it, it's a period and a phase that we're going through that I believe that it would lead to, um, you, know, you know, better outcomes for Nigeria in terms of long-term economic stability and growth. Uh, yeah, so I believe we, we're on the right track. It might seem like it's difficult, but like you know, when um, a sector has been fully deregulated and market forces, you would find that over time, you found out with telecommunications, you found out with other sectors that also deregulated, you'll find that over time, uh, these prices would go down. Um, I also must emphasize that the house is a listening house, and that's why you find that all in, a lot of bills and motions uh, on the issue that you mentioned, you know, have been as a result of what the citizens are saying. And, um, you know, we've, we've echoed that, we've brought those concerns to the House and addressed those issues uh, as much as possible. Thank you. Uh, we can take two other questions. Is there a lady that has a question? Hmm? Okay. 